Hi everyone, Shira here. I think I'm kind of obligated to vlog about the election. The 19th Israeli elections for Prime Minister and the new Knesset. This is my first time voting here. Um, I don't really have much to say about the politics part of the elections. I really don't want to make this video a one-sided political debate. I know who I'm voting for and by the time you see this video, we'll already know who the new Prime Minister is. <laughs> who am I kidding? What I should be saying is that by the time you see this video, we'll all know that Bibi is still Prime Minister and we'll have found out who he has decided to make coalition with. So enough about that political talk. Thank you to all those kind people who sent me links with step-by-step -step instructions how to vote. Apparently voting in Israel isn't as straightforward as a simple coloring in the bubble next to the name of the party and the candidate you want to vote for. I got my voter's card in the mail a couple weeks ago. Um, on it is the address of the voting station where I'm supposed to vote. The voting station is always in your neighborhood where you live, where your official address is. So all my flatmates had to like go home in order to vote. There's free transportation for voters, so I guess that's cool. Oh, and did I mention that election day is also a statutory holiday? It's the only statutory holiday in Israel aside from Yom Atzmaut, you know, Independence Day, and Snow Day. So really, Usually there's only one statutory holiday a year, and it happens to be that this year we got three. Whatever the case is, just like with snow day, and I just didn't happen to have school on snow day this year, I just happened not to have school on election day because I'm already on exam vacation, and I can't do anything fun today because I have a really hard exam tomorrow morning. So yeah, I am going to go put on my shoes and I'm gonna go vote. Look at all these campaign fires littering the streets. I doubt that the environmentalists are going to be voting for these parties. So it's the next day. Um, yes, I am aware that I'm wearing the same clothes that I was wearing yesterday, but honestly, nobody saw me except for you guys, because I spent the entire day yesterday locked up in my apartment studying for the exam that I had today. So I think the exam went alright. I know I passed, but hopefully I did well too. I don't really want to do more, I bet, which is a makeup exam, because it's on the same day as the Jerusalem Marathon. So yeah, so pray for me, I guess. So back to the topic at hand, the elections. It was definitely very difficult to focus on studying when everything was going on with the elections. Like, I went out to vote. Oh yeah, about that, I tried doing good filming when I was in the voting booth. One person entered the room at a time to vote, and because it was starting to take a little bit of time, um, the guy who I signed in with was like, oh, is everything okay in there? And so I was getting like nervous because I didn't know whether or not it was illegal to like film or take pictures in the voting booth because I'm pretty sure in Canada you're not allowed. So, and then I, and then of course I go onto Facebook afterwards and I see that everybody has posted pictures and videos of themselves voting. So, um, I, I don't know if you were able to tell when I was voting, but the way you vote in Israel is there are about like 30, over 30 different parties and each have their letters that stand for the party and you just choose a piece of paper with your party, put it in the envelope and put the envelope into the ballot box and then they count the votes and each vote is counted as one and every single vote in Israel counts. My Israeli friend explained to me the entire political system and how it works with how many votes equals a mandate and how many seats you get in the Knesset, but you know, I'm not going to go into that because I don't really think you care and I don't really care so much. So now I'm online, I just want to read you the results of the election, the final results. Bibi Netanyahu, like I said yesterday, he is the Prime Minister and his party has 31 seats in the Knesset. This new party called Yesh Atid, run by Yair Lapid, has 19 seats. This is more um, left-wing party. And then with 15 seats, we have Labour Party, and then tied each with 11 seats is Shas, which is, I guess, a more Haredi party, and by UD, the party that I voted for, which is a more religious Zionist. Then whatever, there's a bunch of other smaller parties with fewer seats. According to the website I was looking at earlier today, almost 250,000 votes in the elections yesterday were wasted votes. Wasted meaning people voted for parties that didn't even make it to Knesset. Usually it's pretty obvious who's going to be making it as like the Prime Minister, but which party that's going to be, but which of the other parties are going to make it to the Knesset and therefore have a say in government decisions and policy making. Definitely something to consider next elections. Don't vote for parties that just won't have any say. There are a lot more left-winged seats in the Knesset now than there were before, which is not very good news for the Jews. Um, what does this mean for us? Well, I guess we'll find out um, as uh, time goes on when the new government takes shape. And that is going to be it for my political discussion 
this intense political discussion that we've had this video and I'm gonna go and study for exams and I'll see you soon. Bye!